Hey. Well, we're in Battle Creek, Michigan. I'm in behind an abandoned building right now. I remember when none of this vines were here. All that was up seven years ago. Could sleep back here, no one bother you. Now, right there, the overpass, that's where the yard starts. The old Grand Trunk, Grand Elk route that goes to Port Huron through Flint that way. Or back to Chicago this way. Now there's your overhead signal system. Benz is pointing that way to the opposing crew going east. Well, it's north through here geographically, but it turns east to Flint and then to Port Huron. And you go to Saginaw Bay City out of Flint. But they'll stop about right in here, enough to where the engineer can see up at a moderate uh, angle. Uh, if he's got to go in the yard, they usually line him up from that signal. He'll know how to approach. Now, this pole right here, that used to be a wooden sign that was carved. It said Shoestrings Ranch. And Sam Elliott and uh, John Wayne and Clint Eastwood used to come drink with me back in the day. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I'm going to have to take a bath in tick and mosquito spray for the neck down to get through that. But I've noticed they cut out a lot of the trees that were over there. I'll probably go back in here. Got to wait till dark 30, though. Yeah, anytime you hear me say dark 30, that means 30 minutes after sunset. But, yeah, this used to be the old Grand Trunk Western GTW. Yeah, the Grand Elk. Yeah, these buildings aren't even, I don't, I have never known what, what these buildings were. I noticed my tags are gone. It's been about seven years since I've been here. I can't even remember, I know I tagged here. Now, usually I catch out, there's a big set of silver metal grain silos. Just, matter of fact, you can see the top of that one right there. It gets dark. Go over there. There's a couple of electric plugs over there too to charge up. Yeah, seven years ago, all this was standing. It's just rotten and dilapidated. But anyway, I went to the truck stop, got a shower, uh, washed my clothes, washed my beard. Uh, it's about an hour for dark. Looks like he's going in the yard with that. Them old Grand Trunk cars, box cars. Oh no, it is CN. Uh, they just painted CN over the GT car. It was a Grand Trunk. Yeah, see.
got automobile parts in those big long ones. Always call them ugly ducklings because they stick out from the rest. Yeah, the old cotton belt route used to, SP used to have them big automobile boxcars. They'd go down to Mexico, that auto place down there. Then you'd have the flatbeds with nothing but vehicle frames stacked on there. There may be some on this. I'd be going on to Detroit and into, oh, maybe Windsor. Can't see what that sign is. I know eventually I'm going to start saving up for that Galaxy S20. With, it's supposed to have a, like the best camera on earth. Uh, like a studio camera, 100 times zoom. Uh, 8K. Really don't know what that means. Yeah, good foggy morning just some low condensation fog yeah this is like a radio station I guess it's on the map but I forgot which call letters were for it this is a yard here boy it was one hell of a hike back here I kept thinking there was pineapples growing everywhere. I can't remember the name of that kind of plant. It looks like a pineapple top sticking out of the ground. Not palmetto. But anyway, I whacked my way back through the woods here. Pine needles. Ah, oh, perfect pine needles to lay on. And a good old Jack Daniel. No, that's, that's straight up pee, man. Uh, yeah, this mat, I really don't like it as much as that military one I had. But it'll do, I guess, and this is, I don't know if everyone's seen my bedroll, but this is a winter bag. I, I didn't bring the summer bag to put with the winter to make it ultimate, but the waterproof bivy. Then my tarp under that. Yeah, I already whacked me away back for. Now last night, by God, soon as I rolled out, there was a a jump train had mid DPU. Uh, well, I'm glad I didn't come back through here. Uh, Get you out. God dang. Shit. Oh, now I can get through. You know, I better be real careful. I can't tell if that's southbound or northbound. But it's one of them industrial trains. See, it's got a few of those plastics, grinders, bunch of tankers. But that's the main one and main two. That's where them engines pulled up last night and just sat here. Lulled me to sleep for about two hours. Oh, wow. That looks like a Cadillac. Cadillac grinder right there. But that's on the third rail, so he's going to be sitting a while. He'll go, but he'll sit for a while. Man, I'm glad I got through them dang vines. That dang honeysuckle or something. Can't see quite yet. Brought ton. 
I'm gonna do some more work on this trail. I'll never make it through with my gear. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna get rolled up and ready. Yeah, there's a couple. I just woke up, so that first video before this one, I forgot to mention a couple of things. So I'll do a quick one over. Yeah, this mat. It sure wasn't worth the money, good lord. But the tarp always are. You'll always pay a little more for the camo or the brown. Or... But yeah, just stick with the regular Army Surplus Store uh, green tarp. Believe me. Yeah, back out here. Starting to get smoke in the air again. Getting fires. That wind changed again. Alright, this is going towards Flint and Port Huron. This way goes back to Elkhart and Chicago. I see the fence laid down. Now the tower. I'm having problems seeing because uh, of the fog. The fog still so. But when my train comes up, it'll come in from this way going towards Port Huron. Now the fuel dock, fueling station is right around the corner. You might can hear the engine. That's why I think that's a Chicago train. It'll go to the Kirkyard in Chicago. Make sure I don't poke my head out too. Get in trouble. Because when my train comes in, it's going to be sticking up this high and it'll hide me. Yeah, there's the signals. That signal is where the engines pull up. And there's a the fuel dock right in the middle. The sand, see the sand, the sand tank right in the middle. That traction sand they'll put in the nose of the cab. Also, and they also service the engines, do their sign the car inspection ticket in the unit. So, trains are here a good 45 minutes, no matter what type of train they are so that gives you plenty of time to get to a good car and the good thing is is uh, about that also uh, where I'm at at this hop I've never told anybody where this hop is I'm about right at where the end of the train would be going east towards Port Huron and Flint now from Flint you can go to Bay City, Saginaw Yard, the real Saginaw Yard. And I'm about a quarter mile from a dirt road. You walk down this dirt road access to get out here. But it's a wonder I made it with all this weight, but I'm getting back in strength, back in shape now since the accident. Anyway, uh, yeah, by being right at the tail end where the train will be, because there's another fuel station sand tank on the other end for eastbound, uh, you get to watch all the cars go by on that train that you're wanting. So you, you can identify a ride before you even start walking. Okay, this may be my train. It's a junk train. Now he'll, if he's long, he's got a DPU on it. He'll, his butt end will be out here. He's got to pull all the way to the east end of the yard. Actually, the yard is pointing north and south, but it's east-west line. There's a lip drainer. Hopefully he'll have uh, some Cadillac grainers. Oh, 
Oh, that would suck if he was all car carriers like those. You should have more junk mixed in that. He's on that middle line, that second main. So if I find something, I'm going to have to watch out for another train. Well, oh, come on. Lord, it looks like he's auto racks all the way. Thought he was gonna have some junk on the end. We'll see. I better step back. I'd hate a train the opposing way to come along and see me here. Yeah, I'm a duck back in the woods here. Better safe than sorry. Those are all empty too. See through the little holes of the light. Going to all the car manufacturers up near Detroit. Well, I remember one time I got on, got a door open to one of these and got in and went to sleep. Heck, I thought it was going to Toledo. Woke up in Dayton, Ohio at a Toyota plant. The guy coming through, opening the door, seen me. He goes, hey, bud, where'd you get on? I said, Cincinnati. He goes, well, I'll get off work in about an hour. Uh, just stay here. I'll bring my pickup truck in, and I'll load you up and haul you out through security. I was worried security was going to ask who I was in his truck, but they didn't. He drops me off at McDonald's and gives me $10 to eat breakfast. Well, I, you never know who you're going to meet out here. That guy could have called security on me because he did. He could have. He actually woke me up. He could have just let me sleep. Man. Yeah, I don't think he's going to have anything else. Usually if it's mixed like that up front, it is throughout. But maybe they just had a little bit of mixed freight to go with this auto train, so they just threw it on the front. Man, I'm still tripping in them binds. Yeah, that double-decker hooked together like a big city bus. I like the new BNSF car carriers. KCS has some too. They're just all metal on the side, no little holes. Well, crap. I'm scared I'm gonna get seen. All the other trains going this way have been on that first rail right there. You can just walk along the side be in the hit spot. Yeah, darn. I think oh, he's all auto racks. Yeah, when they get to the plant, they put a 
big thick sheet of metal in between each one and they just start the cars up they all have the keys in them and drive them off drive them through like four or five of these long and then put them on the vehicle convoy then they'll jack that ramp up to the middle floor and drive them out down a ramp and then the third floor well heck yep he's just all auto wrecks too bad of daylight I'd go I got time enough to go over there and use a rail spike and a rail plate for a chuck and key and open it but they'd hear me see me Yeah, one other day when I got off the train in Elkhart, I threw my stuff first. I always throw it where it'll land on the bottom of the pack, but nothing's made like it used to be. These are Bushnell, and the gum eyepiece broke out. <sighs> At least I can still use it as a monocular. I can still see through one. I tried holding the other one up. Maybe I could... GB welded or something, but uh, it's not gonna focus. So, God, I can't keep nothing more than. See, that, that is why it's important that you buy quality stuff. I'm gonna show you a ride. This train here has been here all morning. And. It doesn't have a call on it, I know that. It doesn't have a crew. But I found a nice lip grainer. About two cars up, I'm gonna show you. Well, you see a lot of that wood strapping. That's real, real dangerous, dangling off a lumber car. Even on lumber cars, it's painted on the side. Remove all loose bands. Okay, this grainer here, a lip grainer. Of course, see that end? It's got the manual brake and the air tank reservoir and all that. You can ride in that, but... Preferably the other end. Oh, and that's also the end with that the reserve uh, with the reserve pin on it. See here, you got all that room, and it's got a good good high wall on it here where you, if you lay down you can be unseen in the front there is but see this grainer you lay right there somebody's gonna see you at a road crossing see how much better these two compare would you rather ride that or that and big old sasquatch like me can't fit in them holes most people can and that'd be real fun laying on that. You have this paint. Uh, I've seen this paint before on another one of my videos in Virginia. I don't know what kind of paint you call it, but it it's like it goes on and then as it dries, it shrinks and cracks. It does this for a reason. It's real rough. I think maybe it's like a safety paint. So no matter what you paint on there, you're going to get grip. But especially meant for like walkaways and ladder wrong. Yeah, see how much, how much tankers are on this train? It's what you call an industry train. Goes to the refineries. God, I'm having a hard time on these rocks. Goes to your refineries and chemical plants. Let me get 
kind of parallel before I dart over with where I'm staying. See that? That's the fuel fuel dock where they fuel the locomotives when they come in and they service. Now this is a yard over here. I don't try and catch out of the yard anymore. They got a hump yard here too, a hump. But the only way to really <laughs> do it is catch on the fly. No. Another thing you got to be careful careful with when you're walking through the yard, you come by a tanker. You really got to watch before you gallivant out there, because some workers can see underneath your legs. I've got caught that way many a times. I mean, you can get caught under any car, but there's way more space to see someone underneath a tank car. And those lumber cars with the holes on the side of them. Alright, now I'm almost parallel with where I need to dart over. But that green car I just showed you, if it's still here in a couple hours, I'm just going to go ahead and move in. Yeah, it's a, and the color of it, did you notice how dark the color is? not white. It's kind of a brown, tannish. That's going to match me, and I would stand out less. And so there you have it. I'm going to figure out. I'm going to keep the binoculars. I'll just use them as a monocular. Okay. Uh, I want to show you another thing. Like this train that came in while I was asleep this morning. I don't know what direction it came in. But you can look at the surface of the wheel. And you find little imperfection in the wheel like right here you see how see how it looks like a comet see that imperfection right at the tip of my finger and see how that stripe leads away from it there's one on the bottom but that's that's an older one you can tell which way that wheel's rolling Let me see if I can find another one. I can see it with my eyes, but not up here. Yeah, there's one right in the middle, right there. See how the streets lead up? Well, that's showing that the wheel is rolling this way, so it is going east. It is going that way. Because the brake shoes are right down there. When they clamp against the wheel, those imperfections drag away imp imp uh, impurities. See, there's one. See how they all lead away, so the wheel is rolling that way. Yeah, I wish I knew when this thing was going it's uh, I'm sorry I got sidetracked I was watching over there across from the train now we look at a a brake piston And see how that brake piston is sticking out right there? Well, that shows the brakes are set. Any car with a piston sticking out, the brakes are set. So when you come in a yard and they take the power off and it goes, <laughs> brake share, that comes out. Then the guy comes along and pulls them release pins like I was showing in the other video that it goes in. Then they can hump the car out. There are some workers over there in the yard. I gotta be real careful.
Karnock or Jim. I usually think of everything twice before I act on it. Like before I dart across, I look both ways to make 100% sure I can do it without being seen. Uh, I'm ready to roll. Well, this industry train just come in. It broke off some auto racks up front. It's going to leave here in the yard. And that train that pulled in last night I was telling you about, I was wondering what direction it come in. They pushed them in. That, that was the way they were going. But this first train here is going to pick up that cut and add to this. And it will likely go to the Kirkyard outside Gary. Chicago area hexamethyldiamine well that's a really long chain hex that's six so there's six molecules of methylene and then diamine is something else too because di that, that means two, so there's two mo molecules of that uh, diamine in the, oh God, they, then they got the plastics, car hoppers that haul little beads of plastic. They send them to manufacturers or like make clothing or toys, more, uh, like malleable plastics and there's a lot of them plants around Gary so this train's going back to Indiana boy that one letter uh or every letter in the alphabet's in that word. Ah, I'm getting ready to roll. Oh, and I, I seen the bull. He was across those tracks, driving down that little dirt road. So I'm glad I didn't move over there. I, I could catch this train, but I really do hate riding behind all that. That's all, folks. Cause if it ever did derail and I just happened to not get killed in it, oh, then I'm, oh, man, just thinking one of them tankers blew up. Yep, I am getting ready to roll. All right, well... I climbed on board. Uh, we'll be leaving, you just don't know when. Still daylight, I gotta keep an eye out for the bull.
Come on, baby, keep going. Under that underpass, we're all right. Once that underpass or that overpass goes over, just gotta lay low. That's why I like these grainers here with that wall right there. There's the bridge. grain elevator that's where I started the video at yesterday in the abandoned building The Kellogg building, Kellogg cereal for the smokestack tour. Chicago bound. Battle Creek. <laughs> 